Hi, welcome to Tricky Arts. I hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to explain how to expand your answers in Arts Making module. For that, you have to watch this video till the end. If you find this video helpful, I encourage you to subscribe my channel for more videos relevant to grammar and arts. It is quite challenging to speak fluently whenever you are uncomfortable. If you are not comfortable, so you will face problems. You will face difficulties. You will be unable to speak fluently and you will be unable to maintain coherence. So for that, you have to ask yourself two questions. That I can do this and you have to control your mind. Your mind should be under your control. If you work on these two areas, you will be able to speak more and you will be able to speak fluently. Follow these tips in order to score higher. Whenever the examiner asks questions, so all, always share your opinions about the questions. For example, whenever, whatever is the question, you should share your opinion about the question. Later on, I'll just express that how you'll share your opinion about a question. Give a solid reason to support your opinion. For example, you share your opinion. Later on, you should just give a reason, a solid reason that what do you think about questions? So there is a reason. Then, after providing a solid reason, you should give examples because examples play, play a key role to score higher and it will help you to get your desired band. So if you just give examples, it will help you because examples play a key role to score higher. After providing examples, there should be conclusion. You should conclude whatever you have spoken about the questions in one sentence. By doing this, you will be able to score higher. Keep in mind, before the exam, write your answers because whatever you write, it stays in mind for a long time as well as it will help you during exam. For example, the strategy which I have shared with you that whenever the examiner asks question, so you should do one thing that you should share your opinion then you should provide reason, then you, you should have, uh, you have to give examples and then conclusion. So you have to follow these four tips. So these four tips you will follow whenever you will just practice. That whenever the examiner asks question, you should share your opinion, then reason, then examples, and then and conclusion. So before the exam, you have to ask various questions. Means you have to ask questions from yourself then you should write the answers and whenever you are writing the answers you should find these four finds that is there opinion is there solid reason is there examples or is there conclusion so it will help you and and this strategy will stay in your mind for long and it will help you during exam practice how you will practice for example whenever you got command and you think that yeah i i got this strategy so then you should just practice how you will practice whenever you are alone or whenever you don't have uh, someone to practice with. So you should just sit in front of mirrors and record your voice by doing which you will get confidence. Whenever you sit in front of mirror, you should just turn on your mobile, record your voice and think that I'm speaking to an examiner. By doing this, you will get confidence and you will overcome the problem of uh, just that there is the word fear in your mind. So, so you will just overcome that issue whenever you'll just practice on a daily basis. So you should just record your voice. After recording your voice, you should evaluate your 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 voice. So there will be too many mistakes in the beginning. But if you just do this uh, on daily basis, you will get rid of your mistakes. For example, there is a question, do you think smoking should be banned? So now, I got a question, so you should, we have to apply the same strategy that what is your opinion about this question? What is means? Do you have any reasons, or is there any examples, or what is you can say the conclusion of this question? So let's go through this. This is an interesting question. So now I have started this question with a phrase. This is an interesting question. According 
to my good understanding. So now I'm sharing my opinion. After the first sentence, I'm sharing my opinion that this is an interesting question according to my good understanding. Due to various reasons, it should be banned. So now I'm just giving reason that why it should be banned. Because smoking causes significant health issues, which can have devastating effects on smokers, as well as those individuals who live near in the nearby area. So now it is like an example as well, and it is also like a reason. So smoker commit crimes in order to quench their thirst of smoking. So it means that uh, I'm just you know uh, means sharing or elaborating or giving reason that smoker if they, they, they do not smoke so they can commit crimes with it and to quench their thirst so they can do each and everything. So they <clears throat> so those who fail to afford smoking expenses irritate friends and family members. So those smokers who has those smokers who have no money who cannot afford smoking or who cannot afford cigarettes to buy cigarettes so they irritate their family members and friends so just i'm just gonna give examples the additional medical treatment of smoker is also a challenge for government so this was just example you should just uh, practice at home on daily basis uh, follow this strategy opinion reason examples and conclusion so it will help you to elaborate each and every type of question so when you have idea or when you don't have idea when you are running short of idea so you can just follow these four tips and it will help you to score high results with thank you for watching